Yeah, baby! Don't call it a spicy glory hole, okay? Alright, so, let me give you guys a little premise for today's stream. So, despite my immense amount of scientific achievements towards ball-related sciences, I have been continually passed up for the Nobel Prize and the Nobel Peace Prize for bringing the war between the genders to a close. So, due to this massive insult to my wonderful scientific pursuits. I'm gonna be cast in my own damn medal, my own damn Mo Nobel Prize, out of some copper pipe scraps that I, uh, harvested. Harvested from an unknown source. The no ball prize? All right, listen there, buddy. <laughs> I even got this long ass length of pipe just in case uh, the shorter ones don't pan out. But you know, this copper don't grow on trees. It grows under houses. Hang on, I'm getting a little like... I'm getting something to put this on that I can roll it on. Perfect. All right, give me one second. I think we should probably first get the ball imprint. Maybe let's augment the ball imprint a little bit, and then we can get the skin texture on top of the, like, cup imprint so that it's, like, kind of halfway a true relief, right? Yeah, you gotta really press it. No wonder it wasn't getting the imprint. All right, and then hang on. Let's get that skin pressure on here. I don't know how well you could see the texturing here, but trust me, it's there. All right, and then we need to we need to add... Okay, so just FYI, this is the coin width. I'm gonna chop the edges off after, after we get everything, but there's like the general... You're saying unrealistic ball standards of beauty. <laughs> I, we need to have, we need to etch in some writing on this. Oh wait, the writing needs to be mirrored, doesn't it? What should I call, what should I write on it? I was about to just write the ball award, but I realized that's like what a five-year-old would call it. Testiculations, that's actually great. No ball prize. Let's see if I can write no ball prize. Okay, wait, hang on. We have to write it in mirror, right? because we're gonna press it in and make a, make an inverse. Or no, no, wait, no we're not. Because then the mold needs to be mirrored because then we're gonna pour it into the mold and then that, okay, no, wait, hang on. We have to, we have to restart this. I can't be no ball prize. <laughs> oh wait, actually, actually, hang on. Let's switch to the bigger imprint here. You're actually cooking. It should be no ball prize at the bottom. <laughs> no ball, and then we'll switch to the smaller one. We're, we're really arts and crafting it. Oh, baby. Don't y'all love it? This is basically the, the highest art form ever conceived. Is the can edge smooth or is it gonna be wonky? Don't ask that question. It's illegal. <laughs> Shit. Uh, well, how do I get it out of here now? I gotta really carefully coax it out, I think. Oh, wait, hang on. We can maybe do this number. Oh, wait, wait, I know how. Push it up from the bottom and then that'll loosen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got it out. Is the edge smooth, he asks. This shit needs to bake for like 15, 20 minutes, and then uh, we'll come back down when it's done. This is about the size for uh, comparison here. One second, I'm getting my crucible and a pipe cutter. We should chop these pipe weights up to make them melt better. Drinks are aluminum cans, but they're still using tin-coated steel. I can't even melt steel in this thing, man. My furnace ain't fucking hot enough. You think this shit can get to steel melting temperatures? The balls are done. Give me one second. I'm gonna go get them out of the oven. All right, there we go. It's got to cool, but it is nice and hard now. Ah. Uh... Dude, you know what's been kicking around down here for weeks? The fucking sand that we use to cast the YouTube button. Anyway, though, we're gonna use the same sand to create our ball cast. Wish more guys would talk about their balls. That would be a uh, heckin' epic, as the kids say. All right, hang on. 
a second. We gotta really pack this shit in here. Yeah, it, this is kinetic sand. It is not Timu weed. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. There's our, our no ball prize. It looks like it got the relief pretty, like, pretty, like, set in, you know? And then let's make a, uh, let's make a pour spout. So we pour here. It flows in. But, uh, if you pour directly into the mold, right? So the reason you do this is that if you pour directly into the mold, it, uh, it'll, like, dent the mold where it hits because it's heavy. But if you, uh, if you pour in, like, a side spout, then it flows in and it doesn't fuck everything up, you know? You know, the, uh, this forge came with these big pliers for pulling the, uh, the crucible out. Now, the crucible we used for the lava chicken was bigger, so it locked around it. This one, it don't even, like... Closer! Like, I can't even pick it up, like, by the edge. So I'm gonna have to get this bitch out of here using these channel locks and pour it like that, which is gonna be... It's gonna be a task, I'll say. Get this thing of aluminum cans away. That's, uh... Ah, oh, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I was making sure that I, uh... I, I wanted to get the fume sucker set up, too. Yeah, yeah, we're getting rid of our, our white lab coat. We're changing into the black lab coat because it's fire resistant. And I would prefer to not burn. Why forge glory hole shape? Dog, that is the exhaust port. You need to like, you maybe need to unplug a bit. Also, one of the biggest hazards of this setup is the, uh, this white fluff on the inside of the forge. That shit is, uh, incredibly carcinogenic. <laughs> but it's also a really good insulator. You won't have to move the crucible that far to get here. We also have this here. This is, a an ingot mold, graphite ingot mold that we can pour. If we have leftover, we can pour it there. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna have leftover copper. I think we might have to add more copper because it it's gonna look like we don't have enough. Baby, don't call it a spicy glory hole, okay? Now we're cooking with heat. I'm gonna wait till it gets pretty good and preheated and then I'll crank it up because it can go higher. It's getting pretty damn hot. I don't know how long it's gonna take to melt, but the copper is glowing warm. I think we're ready. shit hot as fuck and i have to pick up this damn thing with channel locks oh it's it's very liquid shit Shit is hot. Just the radiant heat off of it is crazy. Now we wait. You need longer tongs? I need like, I have longer tongs, but they're dog shit. That's why I was using channel locks. <laughs> you turn the light off, all the lights? It's, <laughs> I'm not used to this with metal, man. It's glowing like vibrant orange. Here, you can see it. I think when you can see the mold a little bit, it's kind of cool. All right, we have some light. Let's put some light on it so you can see kind of where it's at. Spit on it to help the cooling process. I'm not falling for this. Let's pull this shit over here to the desk. If it burns the desk, like, I mean, come on, man. We don't give a shit. I'm not gonna unsheath it yet. I just want to move the, the tub where we can get a, a closer look on it, you know? Pretty damn hot right now, I believe. This is the flux, I think. I think the black on top is the flux. Yeah, Chad does a good enough job on believing it alone. You don't need extra assistance. We're at five. 
Four, 490? You think we're good for a, a dip? You think we're good to quench? All right, let me get a quenching bucket over here. I'm gonna try to not look at the face. I have a bad feeling. Oh, I was gonna say I have a good feeling because whenever you do a cast, a lot of sand sticks to the mold that you have to scrape off. And I can still see the indent of the text and the balls, which means it's at least got that much detail. Here, some more copper. I feel like maybe we lost some quality, but I'll be happy if we can make out the basics, you know? All right, we gotta do like a reveal. Also, look at all the other stuff. Can I touch it? Other stuff seemed to uh, maintain pretty well. Real shiny too. Real shiny nugs of copper on this. We'll chip the, the remaining flux off the back here in a bit. Not looking yet, not looking yet. Aye, right, bros. I'm kind of nervous. This is the big reveal. How are you guys feeling? Are you guys, are you, are you feeling good on this guy or, uh, or no? All right, ready? Ready, set. Done. Uh, <laughs> yes! Wait! <laughs> yes! Hang on! It's got some gunk in the in the ball divots. Hang on, hang on. Look at that shit! No ball prize! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful! Super rare ball pool. This is a <laughs> I can't believe it turned out this good. I will say, you can, and like this is a thing to note for the next time I do something like this, the spillover here, I think was still a little fucked up because you could see where it poured in and it fucked the mold a little bit. This looks like some Bronze Age shit. Consider sandpaper. I guess I could sand this. I don't know, it has kind of a nice natural uh, luster to it. Maybe the back could get sanded. I don't really like this big glob of shit. This is a rare, it went better than I expected type of project because literally I thought, I was like, I, I haven't seen anyone talking about casting in like sand, like this kind of sand. I was like, oh, I don't know, it works for lower end metal, maybe not for higher end metal, but I did know someone who cast shit with thermite in it. So I was like, okay, that's like really high tip. So this should work. <laughs> no ball prize. This is a great like auction off for charity type of artifact to have. 